As wild as this looks, could this be the future of malls in America? Inside this mammoth 3 million square foot mall is the largest indoor theme park in the Western Hemisphere. The designers of the mall, called the American Dream, think major attractions are just the kind of outside the big box store thinking that the mall industry desperately needs. Whoa, so, so what is this guy? So this is the shredder. Don Germazian's Triple Five Group right. is behind the behemoth, costing about $6 billion to build. When I was growing up, uh, malls had a food court, maybe a movie theater. You guys have roller coasters. <laughs> yeah, we've sort of looked towards reimagining what people think of malls. We've seen malls go through a pretty rough time. Yes, people think that you can just build a box, fill it with stores, and people will come. That's not what people want anymore. It's all about what is the experience when you get to the center. Here we go. How many roller coasters do you have in here? Uh, we've got five coasters right now and one more on the way. This one backwards. has a lot of spinning backwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what you're talking about. That's the backwards spin, huh? <laughs> This company isn't new to supercharging malls. It's the same group behind Minnesota's famed Mall of America and Canada's enormous West Edmonton Mall. And if amusement parks aren't your thing, how about a water park? They are right now putting the final touches on more than 40 slides and the world's largest indoor wave pool. But the project hasn't been all smooth sailing. Across the country, malls are closing as many lose the battle against online retail. More than 9,000 stores just this year. All while it's taken the American dream 17 years of setbacks, ownership changes and delays just to partially open. There are some people that say this is too big, way too expensive. Do you think it's going to be worth it? We've got Mall of America, we've got West Edmonton Mall, they're two of the two biggest in the world, and they work very, very well in much smaller cities. Yeah, they don't all... have New York. That's right. There's 21 million people that live within 50 miles of American Dream. Another reason for Jermazian's excitement, Big Snow Mountain. All right, here we go. The first real snow indoor mountain in North America. The idea is that the terrain controls the direction of the ski. I took a lesson using their new terrain-based learning method. You've got so many people that live in New York, but you have no mountains around. Yeah, so we built one. <laughs> and, and we're in a mall. In a mall. Big Snow CEO Joe Hessian says accessibility, along with prices below $50 a session, could open the slopes to millions. But the thing about skiing, it's pretty expensive. Here, your prices are pretty low. We want more people to come in. We want a good volume of people. And from snow to sea, and even a little screaming, their vision is to build a place to shop as ambitious as the American dream. It's a one-stop shop for all that doesn't exist anywhere in the world.